show. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. money. <laughs> And now, another edition of Wrestling with Attitude from Charlotte, North Carolina. The best wrestling podcast out there today. With your host, the intellectual savior of the masses, The Summit. If we have any six foot five women yeah. that are interested, Steven Single Blade. Our D Generation Sex. Bo Generation. And the mouth of the Carolinas, little Steven. Don't be talking to the 18-day champion like that. Bo, conversationalist person. Bo, hey. horrible. The former six-month champ, the melting pot, JP. Just go back and do that, RVD. Go back to Philadelphia. I'm sure there's a bingo hall. You could sweep the floors, you know, give the old ladies another marker. Little Steven, little Steven. And the face of the company, Mike. J Boel. Michael. You can listen to us on Stitcher, iTunes, and Spreaker. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and tweet us at WWA Show. Wrestling with Attitude. That's right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Wrestling with Attitude. My name is is little steven the mouth of the carolinas what's up man oh come on that's the guy on the mountain you know he's looking down and i forgot the whole line we uh, oh oh that's it oh it's always sunny up on top of the summit that's right not always no sometimes. is it not always is it cloudy is it snowy today it depends on what day i feel like it. Be. i heard the appalachians are a little snowy are you near the appalachian mountains or the rocky mountains oh get it oh Oh, <laughs> there's never no Rocky Mountains there on no top Rocky of the summit. Nope. <laughs> well, guys, it's I'm always Paris smooth. <laughs> Is it smooth. always smooth? Yep. Did you just make a beer reference because that's that's a that's a beer commercial reference. I could do a great beer commercial. We could be <laughs> sponsored by any beer company. Wrestling with attitude. When you want your beer, awesome. <laughs> we do have a new. Uh, Sponsored show. They're called Attitude Broadcasting. <laughs> attitude. They broadcasting. put attitude in broadcasting. There you go. It's a great logo. Yep. Um, every oh, by the way, everyone on um, Periscope really, out there. Hulk Hogan standing next to a mountain chopped it down. No, Hulk, <laughs> no. Uh, I don't allow races on my mountain. Oh no, I'm just kidding. Ooh, I love Hulk Hogan. But a spend, a spendables do. But it's cool. <laughs> well, we'll talk about <laughs> yeah. that in the next. But, Half the show. <laughs> welcome to uh, welcome to Wrestling with Attitude on Periscope out there, guys. Uh, you can catch us all the time on Periscope or at our website, wrestlingwithattitude.com. Uh, we're going to go into uh, Raw review. Yeah, this week's Raw. <laughs> not from what I heard. <laughs> not from uh, what you heard. No, huh? from what Sean said. What did he say? Uh, that's what he said, not from what I heard. <laughs> uh, this week, they were from San Antonio, Texas, home of Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie Man comes out. Roman Reigns comes out. While Stephanie is coming out, Reigns calls out Vince. Oh, man. Uh, Vince didn't come out. Of course, because he wasn't there yet. Yeah, right. So, Reigns walked out. No, uh, Stephanie walked out. Right? Yeah, Stephanie walked out and then uh, confronted Roman Reigns and said that, uh, my father is not here yet, but when he gets here, he will confront you. So, uh, uh, you know. I really didn't like the opening again. <sighs> eh. It's still the Stephanie to me that goes back and forth. I need to see Stephanie mean and tough. Yeah, you're still seeing like that. You know, she's the the tweener right now, which is it's not great because you know, is is it just me or do you miss Triple H right now? I miss Triple H, but you know, the one thing I did like Roman Reigns came out the same time Stephanie came out, so yeah. that was good. But it's just Stephanie still is not been that. Bad yeah. girl that she needs to be. Or do you think it has a lot to do with Roman, too? Like, Roman's not helping the situation. Like, I mean, he can talk, but he still needs... There's something missing there. A mouthpiece. Like, I mean, I think he can talk, just not... 
I don't know. Like he can talk, but he's got to have somebody to help him with it. You know, Sean, what I, mean? I agree. Sean has fallen flat lately. Uh, the, the opening promos have been flat lately. Like, a couple weeks ago, we had Vince, you know, getting arrested. Yeah, it's been pretty. You know, for Vince stuff. coming back, it's been lackluster. Yeah, cause, because yeah. he's not a great actor anymore. He he's getting older. I mean, he just you know if. He's trying to do the same stuff he did 10 years ago. Right, and he's not in the same shape. Uh, At best on Monday, Raw was good, but at best on – it wasn't good. Raw was very disappointing Monday. We'll talk about the overall show after we get done. Uh, But the opening segment was not great. Uh, Then we had Ambrose comes out. Uh, He was on commentary. Uh, Owens versus Adrian Neville. Owens wins with a pop-up power bomb. Ambrose attacks Kevin Owens. Ambrose hits an elbow on Owens on the table. Uh, Smack JoJo asks, "Is SmackDown USA tonight?" Yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Sean said he's out. That Cena's out, and his six moves are out of three. <laughs> <laughs> he's out. To yeah, he's out three to six months. So yeah, uh, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of stuff to do to catch up with uh, Cena being out. Yeah, especially uh, with WrestleMania coming up in two months. What are you going to do? Right. You know, that's a huge, huge name. He's had shoulder surgery. Yeah. Uh, but Ambrose attacks Owens. Ambrose hits elbow Owens on the table. I thought that was, once again, that's the best thing going on Raw right now. Kevin what, Owens. Kevin Owens? Kevin Owens and Ambrose. Yeah, they're going to, um, you know, they're, they're good right now, especially just the feud's good. Uh, the Neville thing he here's what I don't get. You win breakout superstar of the year, but then you do nothing with the guy. They need to bring out Brock and Heyman. Brock will be there next week. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, I'm glad they promoted it because you kind of need to right now. No, they definitely need to. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, it'll be nice to have them back. Yeah. Uh, then we had Titus versus Stardust, which I didn't get. Titus wins with a sit-down power slam. I, I just – I know or what they're power doing. Powerbomb, excuse me, powerbomb. What? I know what they're doing. Because what? What, what it looks like is that Titus is going to be the guy that brings Cody back. Or Titus is going to start it and it's going to go into Gold Dust and Stardust at WrestleMania, which we should have saw a year ago. Can we please bring back Cody Rhodes? We, I, I'm telling uh, you, Will. Tell, you know, you guys are out there. Let us know if you like Stardust. Or if you'd rather have Cody Rhodes back. I mean, I like Stardust in the ring, if that makes any sense. But it's just because Cody's such a good, you know, he's a good wrestler. But Well, he's not just a good wrestler. He's a good talker and everything. Yeah. But that's the only reason I like. There you go. Sean like says Dashing Cody. There you go. Yeah, I don't think you'll ever see Dashing Cody again. If you see Cody Rhodes, I don't think you'll ever see Dashing Cody Rhodes I, again, though. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I hope they bring them back, though. Uh, then we, but this Titus and Stardust thing is horrible right now. Yeah. Uh, backstage we had Becky with Charlotte. Charlotte wanted to know why she wanted a match tonight. Uh, <laughs> missed the stash. Uh, <laughs> Charlotte with Ric Flair versus Becky. Becky wins with a roll up. Charlotte beats Becky up from behind. Yeah. It was a good match. I just, uh, I don't, uh, okay. I get the storyline. I get what you're trying to do. I understand you're turning her heel. I guess you're what? <laughs> what, what was that? Sean said David Flair. Yeah. No, I get what you're doing with David Flair. You're trying to turn you're trying to turn Charlotte heel because of her daddy. I get it. But what are you going to do with the rest of the people? I mean, is it going to be Becky versus Charlotte now or is Paige still involved? What's going on? You're at some point you will have I don't think Becky will win the Divas title anyway. No. So after I don't think she'll win the Divas title after this, it will be her and, and Sasha. It will be. Uh they were but they're going to play this out for another month or two and then maybe they and they actually had a match on SmackDown. So i uh, we'll go into that later. Yeah. Natalia right. will come back. I don't think Natalia will ever be in the picture, though. 
No. Uh, Sean says Natalia will be back. I don't think Natalia will ever be in the Divas picture. Uh, she he she will come back and be on Total Divas. She'll never get a title shot again. No, she's going to be that diva when they go to Canada. They're going to bring her out just because she's a hometown. You, but, but that's all you really need. With yeah. what they have in the Divas division, you need to start having some three ways. You yeah. need to build depth in the division. We need to see Sasha in some match this week. If I'm not mistaken, we didn't see her at all this week. No. Right? She wasn't on Raw at all, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, we didn't see her at Raw on TV. Yeah, that's why it doesn't make any sense. And that's a mistake. I I just don't get it. Uh, They should be wrestling against one, at least a Fox or somebody. Yeah. And they're not. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, But as January 19th is actually premiered Total Divas. So, this week on Raw, you will see all the Divas again. Oh, yeah. So, you got to start pushing it. Uh, backstage, we have Vince with Sheamus. Vince tells Sheamus, may the luck of the Irish be with you. May the luck of the Irish be with you. Uh, this match, I didn't get to see a lot. This is where, uh, you know, there was some trouble up in my house as far as the TV show went. Oh, yeah? Uh, Big Show versus Ryback. Riots attack. The Wyatts attack Ryback. Uh, they go after the Big Show. Big Show beats the other two members of Wyatt's up, and Show and Strowman have a stare down. So what does that mean? It's going to be Strowman versus Show? At, uh, probably at the Royal Rumble. You have the two of them at some point against each other. I'm okay with that. So what, this, I hate mixing storylines. I hate Big Show and Ryback being he, in another match. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's weird. Because, like, I, I don't know what show is right now, what Big Show is. He's just, like, he's there. He's a good guy, but he's a bad guy. Like, at the house of shows, he was a good guy. But when he's on TV, he's a bad guy. What's going on? Well, when you're a live event, it's a lot I know, it doesn't thing. matter. I know. Yeah, so you can't go off of that. But still, it's like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I can't. I don't understand what they're trying to do with him. Because uh, well, what they're doing is they're trying to get a, two big guys against each other at the Rumble. Yeah. That's all they're trying to do. Well, it looks like they're trying to pass the torch. Like, who's going to be the next big show? Right. They're trying to get another big – they got to get some more big guys because, you know, yeah. I like big shows a heel more than face. That is the truth. David yeah. Rivera, yes. Thank you for tweeting our, our show out too, but – uh, no, we love Big Show a lot better as a heel than we do as a yeah. face. Yeah, I mean, he's okay as a face, but the heel is what made him but it's, who he is. It's time to move on from the Big Show and yeah. Kane. Uh, you, we need to see some new big – you need to have the big guys. You always have since Andre the Giant. You've always had the big guy. you got to have a big guy. Well, the problem is, and, and say what you want about Big Show, but Big Show can kind of talk. No, he can talk as – but we've seen the him crying. We've seen too many different. Well, things. that's yeah. We need to see the bad guy. Yeah. You know, we need the big giant, mean giant come out. Yeah. And you know, we and, need to see like the old Paul White when he first debuted. Exactly. Or the when uh, WCW when he was fighting the NWO. Yeah. You know, those are the best. Paul White, Andre, you know, those type of guys. Yeah. So hopefully we will. Uh, then we have Rusev and Del Rio. I don't know where this came up at. Next. <laughs> against the Usos. Del Rio pinned Jay Uso after the curve stomp in the corner. Okay. You've got the Ascension. you got the primetime players. Uh, you have all these other tag teams. And you put Rusev and Del Rio against the Usos? Because they're a faction. They're they're a faction with Sheamus. Yeah. Why? And I'm all about building depth in the divisions. But really? You just put these two together and they beat the Usos. Yeah. They, this is a first tag team match they've had on TV and they beat the Usos. Who just came back from an injury. Who is a former two-time tag team champion's. And they beat them in the first match. Yeah. See, and, and that's the problem with the tag team division right now. You have no depth. And 
Well, got, especially you know, Sin Cara being out. Yeah, with Sin Cara being out, you're screwed. Now. Well, no, there's other people there. There are. They just put together the social misfits, which we'll get into. Uh, social, uh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Outfits, yeah. misfits. Outfits. You know, social yeah. outfits. Yeah, they're social outfits. Tweet social outfits, everybody. That's uh, going to be t- yeah, trending just, worldwide. And I'm all about putting Del, Del Rio and Rusev in a tag team <laughs> and letting them wrestle together. That's fine. I just, come on, man. Uh, yeah. The next match, we had Ziggler versus Heath Slater with Bo Dallas, Adam Rose, and Curtis Axel, who tweeted, during the day, change is coming. Be very scary. Uh, yeah. Heath Slater wins with a roll-up. After the match, Rose said they were for, for unique flowers. Uh, Axel said the chains are off. Hashtag social outcast. And he still talks like so Axel Mania, which makes no sense. But uh, <laughs> go ahead, talk about this. I because okay. you should love it. I love it for three three guys. I love one guy needs to go. Replace him with the bunny for all I care. All right, I'm sorry, but Adam Rose, the guy that can't have a character, that guy. No, I I don't. The guy that's Russell Brand of WWE, I don't need to see him. The last time we saw Adam Rose, he was doing the Rosebud segment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's make a Hollywood segment in WWE. Never seen that before. Okay. No, but I just, I don't understand the whole, like, I, I love Heath Slater. I think it's awesome that he's the leader. I do. Because I think, I mean, he Slater can talk. Is he really the leader? Yeah. He's the leader of it all, man. What's wrong with that? Now, I just, I think it's 3MB 2.0 now, though. Right. That's pretty gonna much be a comedy. It it's going to be a comedy faction. That's the only reason they're together is because they're comedy. Yeah. Does anybody on Periscope like the social outcast? outcast. Yeah. Uh, let us know. And, I mean... What, you don't like Bo Dallas being in it? You don't no, like that? No. Why not? Because it doesn't fit his character. Yeah, it, does. it doesn't. No. Because he believes no. in nothing but, like, he believes. If they put him with New Day, that would have made sense. No. No. Because oh, power, positivity. positivity. Yeah, okay. That <sighs> makes sense. You put him with Curse Axel, who I don't know what he believes in. <laughs> I don't even know what uh, Adam Rose should believe in Pink Slip. Uh... <laughs> He Slater. He Slater, talented, but him and Bo Dallas together? Are you doesn't serious? Doesn't make any sense. It, it's mixing two different. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, but that's why they're called social outcasts because none of them are together. Like none of them fit together, so they put them together, which makes no sense. This, I don't know. I no, still want to see what they do. This is called. We have nothing for the four of you at the time, so, so let's throw you yeah. together right before the Royal Rumble. So that way at the Rumble, you, you all four can get thrown out together. Yeah. That is all it's called. That's great. <laughs> so anyway, moving on uh, to the next horrible segment of the night. New Day comes out. Oh, that wasn't horrible at all. Kofi <laughs> says, set up the countdown clock on the Tron. Jericho came out. He enters the Rumble. Uh and then we had New Day versus Kalisto and Dudley's New Day won the match. Do you want to talk about the New Day and Jericho? Because I'm sure you do. You love Jericho. I mean, I like Jericho, but here's the thing. You didn't need Chris Jericho to be a part of this segment to me. Because Chris Jericho is one of those guys that you could have just brought out and said, hey, I'm entering the match. Why did you need him there? You know what I mean? Like I, I don't I, I didn't see any reason oh, for that. I want to see the guy that kicks ass or butt just like Stone Cold or Shawn Michaels. We might see that sometime. We'll see. I don't know. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be at least a good six months to a year before you see that guy yeah. again. Sorry, go ahead and you No, but talk. I mean like you didn't need to bring Chris Jericho out during this segment. Like I felt like it was Lackluster, because New Day is good on their own. Like, they don't need that guy. They don't need Chris Jericho to interrupt them. I mean, it was okay, but what are you going to do? What, is Chris Jericho going to have a feud with the New Day now? That's not going to happen. Do we really want to see that? I don't want to see that. I don't want to see New Day versus Chris Jericho. 
No, I I don't want to see Chris Jericho versus any of New Day. No. Now, being in the Royal Rumble, that's fine. You're always in the Royal Rumble. That's fine. No, with me. I have a I have an issue with that. Why? I have a match against somebody. You're Chris Jericho. Yeah, right, you don't first need of to be, all, you don't need to be in, yeah. That's for people that should win the title. Now, if you don't for the title like we'll talk about here in a few minutes. Jericho is a big name. I understand. You have to, though. Uh, so I kind of understand that. Yeah. Uh, I just. These part time guys that come back, I would rather see them put people over and help develop. Yeah. Other than getting in the freaking world championship match. It, I, I completely so, agree with you, but. But I know. Uh, anyway, moving on from that. Uh, Roman Reigns versus Sheamus. Uh, with Vince as special guest referee, uh, Rain Superman punches Vince. Why? I mean, and nothing. We'll get we, home. Yeah. Reigns hits <laughs> Sheamus with the spear, but no ref. Stephanie comes out. She gets tripped over in the ring. Reigns wins with a spear, and Vince comes back, or he says the Warrior Rumble match will be for the WWE yeah. title. And and what's his name makes an appearance again. Armstrong made an appearance again. He was the second ref. He comes in, and then they had another ref come in after him. Is that that's not Road Dog's brother, is it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is him. Okay. I can I can never tell because I, I know he was a wrestler back in the day, but I forgot that that's uh, Road Dog's brother. So, but anyways, no. I understand your frustration on this because it's stupid because we saw this already two weeks ago. We saw him Superman punch Vince McMahon again. What are you doing with him right now? Is the Sheamus and Reigns feud so bad that you have to have the chairman in this? Is it that bad? Do you not really have anyone to go against Roman Reigns that you have to have Vince McMahon in this? Uh, no. Who else are you going to put him against? You could put him against the guy that comes back Monday, but there's something else going on with Lesnar. Because you can't do Lesnar and Reigns again at WrestleMania. You, you could. Can't. No, you can't. You can't. Well, not after last year. Not after what happened. No, if you were going to do that, I'm going to tell you, Lesnar is already booked for fast lane. Okay? Oh, my. He's already booked for fast lane. Uh, he's going to be here until WrestleMania now, after this period, Good. He needs which to be. is fine, or yeah. after this Raw. But there's no – who else you going to put him against? You have nobody else. You got Ambrose, but then you have to turn heel, uh, or you have to turn Reigns heel. You, which I'd be okay with. You don't have a – you know, you don't have anybody else. You got Kevin Owens. You got Kevin Owens, but he's in a few of Ambrose. Yeah, but not by WrestleMania he might not be. And maybe not. I mean, maybe when they get there. But there's a lot that they still – you don't have a lot of options at heavyweight champion. Yeah, you don't. I mean, you know, look at the roster. Cesaro's out. Rollins is out. Cena's out. Orton's out. Daniel Bryan's out. Randy Orton's out. You know, <sighs> there's a rumor Daniel Bryan might be healthy enough. That his doctors have said he's healthy, but the WWE doctors have said no. No. So we'll see where this goes. Uh, Samoa Joe. Yeah, JoJo says Samoa Joe. I love Samoa Joe. Yeah. I don't see him coming up and getting a world title shot. Nah. Yeah, I could see him being in the Rumble. You know, Finn Balor is another guy. At some, Finn Balor's going to have to come up soon. Well, I'm telling you. Well, speaking of Samoa Joe real quick, I don't want to get off in a tangent, but I don't understand what they're doing with him. Because he's lost that belt, or he's lost at least once, or twice he's lost a um, uh, against Finn Balor, right? He's lost it once. Lost it once? They only had okay. one match. They could do another match. All right. I know. It's just, but, like, I don't understand what you're doing with Samoa Joe, because he should be, like, in my opinion, Finn Balor should already be brought up. But uh, we'll talk about that when we get into... Yeah, uh, we'll talk about it next year. Yeah, so... Um, was that it for Raw? Yeah, you know, I'm good. How, uh, you want to do three stars? Yeah, let's do three stars. Or I could talk about SmackDown real fast if you want. Oh, talk about SmackDown for a second, and then we'll do three stars. <clears throat> well, SmackDown, uh, I'll, 
kind of don't want to give it away for everybody. If you haven't watched it, uh, it is tonight. Which, <laughs> which no one has watched it. No, which no one's watched it. Duh. Uh, but my point is, SmackDown is tonight. I can tell you guys what happened if you want. Uh, so if you don't want to know, check out right now. Check out right now and be back. And come back <laughs> after this. Uh, because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. But uh, it was last night tapings. I'll go through it real fast. So, JoJo, if you don't want to know what happened on SmackDown, yeah. cover your ears. Earmuffs, man. Yeah, earmuffs. <laughs> uh, there, It was from uh, Laredo, Texas uh, on USA Network. Don't forget, SmackDown is on w- USA Network now. Uh, Mario Ranella came out. He's the new lead announcer for SmackDown with Jerry Lawler and Brian Sexton. Oh, that's cool. So they got a new announcer. Uh, John Cena's music hits. He comes out to kick off the first episode of SmackDown on USA Network. He challenges Alberto De Rio uh, to another to a U.S. title match. Uh, Del Rio refuses and taunts Cena. Uh, Kalisto comes out and beats Del Rio in a non-title match, uh, and they said it was a great match. So you know who knows he'll probably maybe he'll get a U.S. title match. Uh, Miz TV is up next. The Miz is interrupted by New Day, who come out talking about Chris Jericho, only to get interrupted by themselves by Ziggler. Uh, before all said was done, Goldust, Our Truth, and Neville came out, which leads to a big match. Uh, it's Ziggler, Goldust, Our Truth, and Neville versus New Day and The Miz in an eight man tag team match. Why? <laughs> because Why? they have nothing else to do. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. <laughs> but then we got Charlotte beat Becky Lynch in a Divas singles action Ooh. with an assist from Ric Flair at the end of the match. Then the main event was Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens. They fought to a double countout, uh, which was advertised as the WWE Intercontinental Championship match. Ooh. In the end, Ambrose and Owens kept brawling to the back. So, look for their match at the Rumble. Probably be a false count anywhere, which will be a great match. Uh, but, as I just read about SmackDown, sorry if I spoiled it for everybody, but SmackDown just was the same. All right. And well. nothing interesting. And now, it's time for Superstars of the Week. All right, James. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> well, JoJo, real fast, who's the Japanese guy coming to WWE? His name is Nakamori. And we'll talk about it in the next show we get ready to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, wrestling news will be in the next one. Yeah. Uh, what, my superstars? Yeah. Movie? You know what? Let's just make it one since we're kind of running out of time. What is your superstar of the week? Well, if I you get one. three real Okay, fast. if you got three. All right. New Day. <laughs> That's three, actually, right? There. New Day. <laughs> Uh, God, I'm trying to think. Uh, Roman Reigns. <laughs> okay, I, I'll give you Roman. I'll give you Roman, and then of course Kevin Owens. Okay, I'll go no, uh, take away Roman. Give one to Dean Ambrose, and then Kevin okay. Owens. I'll give one to uh, Chris Jericho. <laughs> um, then I'll give one to New Day, and then I'll give one to uh, Dean Ambrose, just because it's Dean Ambrose. Um, okay. but yeah, that's that's kind of it. Um. Guys, thanks for listening to Wrestling with Attitude. And for the ones on Periscope, stick around. We got another show. Stay tuned. Uh, for everybody else, catch us tomorrow. Yeah, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, you find us on Stitcher, Spreaker, iTunes, and Periscope, as always. Like us on Facebook and tweet us at, at WWA Show. Also, check out our website, WrestlingWithAttitude.com. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. See you.